digital planner full guide, make a digital planner with hyperlinks and templates. In this video, we're going to be discussing about digital planners, how you're going to make them, where to post them, basically give them a look where people are going to be eager to buy it from you. It's going to be a very detailed and descriptive video, so please do make sure to watch this till the end. So basically, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the product, or you could say the platform that we're going to be using for making our digital planner is yes, none other than the great canva.com. Now, canva.com, as we know, is uh, one of like, the greatest products out there for today's world because as we all know, Canva works wonders when it comes to designing. Like billions and billions of people use Canva to make their free designs because you know, it's totally free and it works like a charm. Like I'm surprised by how good it works, you know? So we're gonna be talking about this in great detail and great depth. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end and gain all the knowledge that you can about Canva. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the creation of a digital planner. Now, if you don't know what a digital planner is, basically, you can go on Etsy. Etsy, it's a great shop and marketplace for your handmade vintage custom or maybe digital PDFs or planners. And as you can see over here, uh, you have great notes, planners, stuff like that. And it's just great stuff. So as you can see, people sell it over here and people actually get like these things actually get sold. So as you can see, this person is a star seller for a digital planner and he or she has 95,000 sales. That is crazy. That is an amazing, absurd amount of sales. And you can see the money this person charges. It's $13.35. So if you were to just, you know, go with $13.35 into 95,000, this person makes $1.2 million by just selling a digital planner. Just imagine, just imagine how crazy that is. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be teaching how to be making one of these and sell it on like, you know, online marketplaces like Etsy or maybe Amazon Journal and stuff like that. So we're gonna be, you know, doing all of this in a jiffy. Now, what we're gonna do, obviously we're in Canva. Now, if you don't know how to use Canva, don't worry, I'm gonna be teaching you all that as well. So uh, yeah. Now, first of all, when you're here, you're going to see all of this. This is your main home dashboard. Down here, you're going to see all the designs, all your designs that you made. And over here is, you know, something that you might want to try, different templates that you can mess around with. Now, on the left-hand side, you have the home project template section. This is pretty basic stuff. Up here is the design spotlight where you can get all the type of designs that you can use Canva to make. You know, like uh, you can make your own work suite, you can make documents, presentations, whiteboards, PDF editors, graphs and charts. Then you have photos and videos where you can make video editors, YouTube video editor, photo editor, photo collages. Then you have the print section where you have business cards, you have other cards, invitations, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, calendars, labels, and much more. And then obviously there's marketing like logos, posters, flyers, brochures, etc. And obviously you have the business section where you have Canva for business where you can do content creation, visual communication, brand management, team collab, plan and schedule content, asset management, you have brainstorming tools uh, and solutions, you have marketing, you have creative agencies, you have sales, communication, media and publishing, much more. Then you obviously you have resources where you can use case studies, business resources to just help yourself, you know, because they're good resources. And then there's the education section where you have teachers and school related stuff where you can create and collaborate visually in the classroom. You have the student stuff where you can design and documents to basically boost your learning in a very quick and easy way. You have free teacher resources where there are, you know, you could say tutorials, courses, webinars, and more just for the educators. And obviously you have different LMS integrations where you can integrate Canva with your learning management system, case studies, where you can hear how others deliver creative and collaborative learning. And then obviously you have higher education where you can inspire future generations with the power of design. So it's pretty cool stuff, pretty great stuff. And uh, then obviously there's your basic plans and pricings where you have the free plan, the pro plan, and then the teams plan. Now in the free plan for anyone wanting to design anything on your own or with others, and it's free forever. Then you obviously have the pro plan, which is for individuals and uh, who basically want unlimited access to premium content and design tools. And then obviously there's the teams plan, which is for all teams of all sizes wanting to create together with premium workspace and brand tools. So yeah, that is basically what we're going to be discussing and we're going to be discussing it in great depth. Now, 
to create yourself a planner, you're going to go ahead and you're going to write planner over here. Okay. Now, once you write planner, you're going to get all these dimensions. Just go with the one in inches. And once you go there, here you can see you start getting these templates. Now, you can go ahead and start with these templates if you want to, but I recommend making one yourself because that's just much easier, more convenient, and you have full, like, uh, you could say freedom of creating whatever you like. So I'm going to go with create a blank planner. Now, once I go with create a blank planner, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start doing the magic. Now, first of all, we're going to choose a good background. So I'm going to go with a wood top table view. I'm going to go with that. And I want to do that. Okay. I'm going to choose any one of these. You can choose it through iStock photo or free pick because they just give you good four k images. Uh, let's go with this. This looks like a good top. Now you can either go with this website or you can also go with free pick. Unsplash is the best in my opinion, because you know, you get totally free picks and it's just a great thing to download from because you get four k related pictures. Now I'm going to go with a lighter one. Okay. I'm going to go with this. Let's go with this one. This one looks much better. Now, once it's downloaded, you're going to come here and you're going to paste it into your uploads. And once you upload it over here, I'm just going to wait for it to load. And here we are. Now I'm going to bring it over here. Um, make sure that it fits in well. So here we go. And there you are. Now there's your pretty cool tabletop. Looks pretty nice. And if you like want to, you know, keep that, you know, aesthetic leaf thing over here, you can keep it like that. But I recommend just keeping it out because for a planner, you need a whole tabletop. Now, once it's over here, what you're going to do is you're going to go in elements. Okay. And you're going to write rectangle. And once you write rectangle, here you are, you have a rectangle. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to bring it here, not too close to it. And you're going to expand it into a whole big rectangle. Make sure it's centralized. You know what? I'm going to make it a bit bigger and now I'm going to centralize it. There we go. Now that it's centralized, I'm going to make it a bit white or you know what? Let's keep this one a bit of a gray. I'm going to paste one on top of this. I'm going to make this one white. Okay. Now, once this is white, just make sure to move it a bit to the right. You know, we want to give it that shadowy look. I'm going to make the back one a bit, you know, let's go in white. I'm going to go on these colors make it a bit darker like that. Yeah. And I'm going to bring it here now and wait a second. There we go. Yeah. That looks pretty decent. Now again, you're going to take the background image because you know, we want to make it look like a professional planner. We don't want to make it look like, you know, a very, you know, planner that you didn't work a lot with. We don't want to make it look like that. Okay. So obviously position this the way I told you like that. And then you're going to take this one, make sure this one's a bit lighter of a shade I'm going to go here like that. Okay. And then you're going to bring this over here. Now look at that. It looks like, you know, a proper brief. You could say looks pretty, pretty good, pretty decent. Now, obviously it's, we've made it a bit upside down. So we're going to rotate this and we're going to make it look like this. Now, here we are now, as you can see, pretty good stuff looks like a you know, pretty aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go on elements. You can either write binder. Okay. You can write binder or you can just write rings. And once you do that, you're going to bring it here. You're going to make this bigger. So once you make it bigger, make sure to bring it here and look at that. How good does that look? Huh? Uh, just like that. So that looks pretty amazing. Pretty good stuff till now. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to go ahead and give your page a color. Now you could keep it white. Okay. Now, if you're going to keep it white, we're going to keep some good, you know, overlays behind it. And we want to make it look, you know, pretty friendly, pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in elements and okay, let's say we're going to keep, let's put flowers. Okay. Let's put flowers in our planner because you know, everyone likes flowers. Who doesn't like flowers? We're going to do this. Okay. Do like, you're going to make it, send it backward, go in position, go in backward, bring it behind the binder. Obviously, once you've done that, Make sure it's well stretched. And once you do that, make sure I'm going to move it to the right a bit, go on the opacity and just do that and look at how good and great that looks. Like in my opinion, that just looks amazing. Okay. And then you're going to add, you know, more stuff again, send it to the backwards. I'm going to click it position backward. And once I've sent it there, 
I'm going the opacity, change the opacity. I'm going to bring it down, you know, make it look like that. And then you can add more stuff around it. Okay. Uh, let's say you're going to add, I'm going to add another one. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. I'm going to bring it here again, position backward, bring it a bit lower opacity. And there you go. I'm going to make sure the opacity for this is also it's a bit overpowering. Make sure that none of these are overpowering on your planner, because if like any of them are overpowering, then, you know, that just kills the look of it. So as you can see, now it looks pretty full, looks pretty nice in my opinion. OK, now once you have done this, now what you're going to do is obviously you're going to create the whole outlook of your planner. So for that, you're going to go here and you're going to write tables. Now, obviously, in the table section, you're going to basically what constitutes a planner is like the intro page, which it's going to say, OK, yes, this is a digital planner. Then there's the index or the intro, you could say. And after that, you're basically going to get your like after the intro or index, you're going to get your monthly planner, your weekly planner and your daily planner. OK, so first of all, you're going to go with the monthly planner. Now, before going with the monthly planner, what you're going to want to do as you're going to create, you know, an intro. So again, go on text, choose a good font, choose a nice, you know, very friendly font, which is going to match this fonts, you know, uh, look. So I'm going to go with this one. This one looks pretty decent. Yeah, as we can see, it matches it pretty well. We're going to change the color. Don't worry, but this is just to change the text. I'm going to change it to planner. I'm going to change this one up here to right, this one digital. So there we have it, digital planner. Now you can, as I said, change the text color. Don't worry. You're just going to come here and change it to whatever you like. OK, you could change it to a peach. You could change it to a green if you want to. In my opinion, yeah, this color looks pretty decent over here. So I'm going to do that. Go on color again. You can make it blue. You can make it green if you want to. Again, totally dependent on you. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it a pink and peach. OK, now once you've done that, you have your digital planner outlook over here. OK, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty decent. You can also add effects to it like you could add shadows or you could just remove the shadows if you want. You can make the like text more bolder if you want to. There you go. You can increase the blur to, you know, give it the glow or you can decrease it totally upon you. Bring the transparency out of it. And yeah, you get the point. So just mess around with the effects until you get what you want. You can also make a neon, by the way. So yeah, mess around as much as you want. And this is how it's going to look in the end. Now, this is the intro page. Now, obviously, we want to go to the index. Now, just go ahead, duplicate the page. OK, now once you duplicate the page, just delete the digital planner content and all right, just do that. Now, before getting into this, just duplicate this as many times as you can, like make 10 to 12 pages. OK, I'm just going to make 10 for now. Now, once you've made 10 pages, we're going to go. Wait, let me centralize this. I just noticed that this is not centralized. OK, we're going to go here and yeah, that seems central enough. Now, once we have done that, we're going to come down here and now we're going to create our index. OK, so for the index, we're going to write tables. Here we go. And once you write tables, you're going to choose the tables from this section. So I'm going to choose this one. This one looks pretty, you know, matches our aesthetic. And I'm going to bring it over here. Now to add more sections in your tables, you can just expand it if you want to. You go on these three dots and, uh, you know, bring more sections into your table if you want to. Come here, you know, expand it, table spacings. There you go. If you click on this, uh, you're going to get one more column in the table. But yeah, you get what I mean. So we're going to make our index. So go on your text. OK, once you go on your text, choose a decent font, choose a very, you could say uh, a font that, you know, will go well with the style of the planner, basically. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go with let's go with a decent looking font if that if you may and uh, we're gonna go with yeah this one looks pretty good okay wait i'm gonna delete this one okay now once you've done that i'll delete that and here we are it's this font is called tiffany's birthday now this is the index obviously so first of all we're gonna add page number like let's say on the third page okay so page number three you're gonna add it over here you're gonna copy this paste it bring it here now on page three there's the weekly planner. OK, and we're going to go to the font and make sure to 
like make the size small on page three you're gonna see the weekly planner or you could like you know what daily we're gonna do we're gonna do monthly okay on week three you're gonna have your monthly planner make sure the text is small and once the text is small wait i'm just gonna bring it here there we go text is small looks pretty good and then after monthly you're gonna basically write you know what is it it's a planner obviously so copy paste bring it here and make it centralized and once it's well centralized there we go just like that yeah so we're gonna call it wait there we go so planner we're gonna write planner okay again centralize it there we go i think that's pretty much good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna like go over here and we're gonna choose these three texts again copy it bring it here now the monthly planner is obviously gonna constitute of only one page so you're gonna do page four page four for the weekly planner the weekly planner is obviously gonna be four pages so after that we're gonna go to the eighth page so fourth page for one week fifth page sixth page seventh page okay yeah so we're gonna go to the eighth page eighth page is gonna be for the daily planner and the daily planner is obviously gonna be, you could say 30 days because there's 30 days in a month. So yeah, then there's the page 38 basically. So obviously after this, we're gonna come here. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm gonna move that. Now obviously once like, you know, you're done with all of your settings, you've written all these things, you're just gonna copy this like this, you know, respectively copy that over here write weekly planner, copy this over here, write daily planner, copy that over here, write end planner. Now after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be using other tables, you know? As I showed you, you're gonna go in elements, you're gonna write tables. And once you write tables, you can see you have all these tons and tons of tables that you can just use and implement over here. As you can see, this is like your monthly planner with all the months over here, okay? And uh, once you do that, uh, you're gonna write the task schedule routine and diet plan if there is any you're gonna leave a blank table for someone if they want to add their own essentials and yeah then you're just gonna let them add all the details they want to so that is how you're gonna you know set up all this for the planner and then obviously then you're gonna go to the weekly planner and you're gonna add all these tables add the weeks and make seven duplicates of it because obviously there are four weeks in a month and then obviously you're gonna make your daily planner and you're gonna duplicate this like about 30 times because obviously there's 30 days in a month. So once you've done all that, obviously we're gonna discuss how you're gonna add a link to it, so, you know, hyperlinks. So you're just gonna click on whatever text you wanna add a hyperlink to. You're gonna go on more over here and you're gonna click on link. Once you click on link, you're gonna basically link it to whatever page you want to. And there you go. That is how you're gonna add a hyperlink. And this is how you're gonna create your daily planner in the easiest, most like efficient way possible. And once you've created it, all you're gonna do is you're gonna click on share. And once you click on share, you're gonna go and download. Once you go and download, you're gonna go and file type, go on PDF standard and download it. And once it's downloaded, as you can see, it's gonna download itself in the most clear and great quality possible. And from here on out, all you're gonna need to do is, you know, just, and as you can see, it looks so aesthetically pleasing. Like it looks great, it looks amazing. Anyone will love to have this. And let's see how the hyperlink works. Let's say I wanna go on page eight. I'm gonna click on that and look at that. It took us to page eight. So that is how the hyperlinks work. And this is how you're gonna create a digital planner using Canva, using hyperlinks in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And from here on out, you can like post it to your Etsy or Amazon journals, you know, make yourself some money and stuff like that. But yeah, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos on this channel in the future. If you wanna see more videos like this, like this digital planner one or Canva one or design related, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. And also if uh, I left anything out or if you have a query or issue in this video, please let me know that as well and I'll make more videos for you where I tackle those issues. But yeah, thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you all keep having a great and incredible day. That was all from me and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.